Hey guys, this is Cindy. I wanted to create something quick for you guys. Um, so fall happened on September 22nd. What I like to do is create little things for my co-workers. So I wanted to create like a happy fallback with like little goodies and stuff. So I wanted to share with you how I'm going to do this. Um, I have like four co-workers. Um, there's two, bu two buildings. The first building has like 50 people and the second building where I am, I'm so glad I only work with like four other people so that's very nice and um, we don't bump heads we all get along it's not like I didn't get along with the other 50 people we get along it's just much easier if it's much easier for me to work in small groups and it's cheaper for me because I can only do this for only four people opposed to making like 50 of these so anyways, I was thinking of, um, I have a lot of these fall bags that I collected at Michael's a long time ago. They were in the $2 graph bags. This was like three, four years ago when I was getting into crafting. So I would watch like uh, Mac Michael's videos with the graph bags and I would go and like purchase them. And I have so many leftovers of those graph bags and like I never gave it away and um, I kept these little baggies and I gave some away and I still have like plenty. So I figured, you know, let me use it. And so, um, so again, these were like um, $2.99 each, but they were in the $2 graph bag, so I have plenty. So um, they're kind of decent size. I just went to Target and picked up some candy. Um, I think this was like $15.99, and you get um, the Kit Kat, Reese's, Hershey's, Almond Joy, uh, and the Reese's Pieces. And then I had this, for, I bought this big um, almond roca from Costco and I have the big bucket. I usually like to buy this when I do things like this because I don't eat these at all. Like I, I mean I do eat like one or two here a month but I don't finish it by myself. So it's good to like share with other people. Also I will be using this um, stamping up dye, the autumn accents. And um, I already cut up some... Um, pieces out of this um, paper pad that I found out Tuesday morning. I think you get this at uh, Target, but I, I don't know. I'm not sure. And I found like um, 48 count paper pads at Target for $3. I almost grabbed them, but I had told myself that I was going to use the paper pads that I had here at home. So let's continue. So um, let's see what else. I'm using the Stamping Up Punch, this label one. I already punched up some, um, already like punched out some um, little die cuts from this. And I'm gonna use the Thanks a Latte for some instead of stamp, Happy Fall. And I'm gonna be using the little um, fall leaf. Okay, and I already like practice on my placement on how and where I want it. So you can't see the second placement, but yeah, I already kind of know what I want. And I think that's it. So first, I'm going to open these little guys and I'm going to use, um, see like the orange because I don't have like this brown crinkling paper. I put it here in the bag. It's just like a little stuffer and um, I will cut the price off because I don't think my coworkers need to know how much these bags cost because I got them for like way cheaper than that. Let me move this over. And I've I got my crafty mojo bag for a while. I didn't know what to create because I was seeing so many beautiful like you know creations on YouTube. And I'm like, I just need to like take time out of my day. What I like to do is take a lot of candy out out of the bag because I can visually see um, how I'm gonna do it. And like to get sorry. Oh, and I gave one to my mailman too because, you know, I usually I, I add water, like a little um, thing of water because, you know, our mailmen walk all, um, all around the neighborhood and, uh, you know, it's a long walk. So what I like to do is um, get a piece of each candy, like this, just put it here in the little baggie. And at this point, um, I'm, I have like little crackers um, with cream cheese. And I'll be right back. I want to show you. I just didn't take it out because they have to be in the fridge. But I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. So 
Sometimes I like to add these cheese um, dippers. Um, these are very um, good. Um, at first I didn't like this brand, but now I guess my taste palette changed um, over the years. And um, I like to like eat this during my 10 minute break, 15 minute break, you know. And then you can add Rice Krispie treats in here. Or um, um, Starbucks has like those little um, powder um, coffee that you can put in here or the little cake cups you can literally put anything you like but um, for my co-workers because we take our break a 10 minute break and I know we get hungry I think you know you can always add, add it like this you know something very very simple or you can add your rice crispies here or you know like a little donut that it's, it has that has its own wrapper you know but uh, for my co-workers I will add the cheese dips and it just looks like that very simple okay so um after that i'm gonna um stamp uh, my little images that i want so i'm gonna use the distress um ink i think this is mermaid the mermaid color and i'm using just a simple ivory um cardstock you won't be able to see it but you know I, i'm sure you guys get the idea um, I don't stamp straight. I need to work on that. And um, this time I will use my VersaFine Black Onyx because I do like how it's really dark. I actually do like that, but it's just not good for coloring for me for some weird reason. Um, just add the word happy somewhere in the center. And then. Um, the word the word fall so it's gonna be happy fall okay it's not that straight but it's okay looks like that and at this point if I want I can distress the edges which I did want it to do but now oh, okay I found it that I couldn't so um it's very simple my coworkers will you know throw it away anyways so you don't need to get that fancy with this, honestly, um, in my opinion. So um, I have the um, sunflower one, I got the um, 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 owl one, and I did get the apple one, let me get it for you guys. Here's the apple one, oh, very, very cute. I got the cupcake one. And I got the sailboat one. I had like literally a big bag of these. And um, I gave some away to my mom because she likes to put things like this together so as well. Except she sells them to people and which is totally fine. It's okay. I've got to earn your little coin somehow. So it looks very simple just like that. Now, uh, so I did say I did like cut some of these fall leaves. You know, in different shapes. Very simple. I'm going to get my dimensions. And this I got at the uh, dollar store. They work perfect. They work amazing. I'm just gonna put one here. Um, how do we do it? Let's let's put it like that, right? Yeah, that's good. Let's do it like that. I'm gonna get my hole punch. Let's try to punch it somewhere in the center. Again, I think my coworkers will throw this away so it doesn't have to be perfect, at least for me, because I don't think they save it. Oh shoot, I lost my scissors. You know, I have like 20 pairs of scissors that I pick up at um, Tuesday morning and like, you know, you never have them on hand. Oh, here they are. Here's one. Um, okay, so I'm gonna like cut one in here put it through I wanted to do it some I wanted to do it I don't know if I can do it this hole is too small let me see if I can do it so I'm gonna try to put the two strings through no I can't do it let me see if I can do it so it's Sunday and um, my neighbor left some beautiful full flowers in front of my door and I thought that was so nice of her. 
Let me see if this works. Oops. Okay, let's take this off. 